Hey everyone, this is Adam with EKM Metering. Today's video is intended to show you how to set up pulse counting in EKM Dash that will allow you to read your water meters or gas meters remotely. So the first thing I'm going to do is open Dash through my dock. As you can see, I've entered a, a V4 omnimeter here already and I've named it. Expand it here. So what I'm going to do is click the meters icon in the upper left hand corner and then click edit meter. And here it is as I've entered it. The name, meter number, meter model, and I've set it up to be read with the EKM push system. So what I'm going to click next is the pulse icon here up in the upper left hand corner. And here is where you set up the pulse counting. So I know that I've connected a water meter to the omnimeter in the pulse input one. So here's where I'm going to set it up. I'm just going to name it something obvious. And I know that I'm using the three quarter inch water meter and that's this guy here. So I'm going to click that. And what that does is sort of presets a lot of the uh, values here. So it's set that the pulse value is uh, one tenth of a cubic foot, which is accurate. Um, and here's the portion that I can't set at this point. The reason I can't set it is that I'm using the EKM push system. Um, this system does not allow you to make settings in the omnimeter itself, only settings that relate to the EKM dash. So if I was reading the omnimeter with the USB converter or the iSerial, then I would be able to change this. I've actually already changed it because I used the USB converter. I set it from a thousand to one ratio to a one-to-one -one ratio. Um, but a lot of users like to do this because it makes it simpler to understand. Uh, what this means essentially is that um, for every pulse that's created by the water meter, uh, the EKM dash will increment. Um, if it's a thousand to one, then it would take a thousand pulses for the increment, for the dash to increment one. Um, and the, the meter itself reads in natively in cubic feet, but I'm interested in knowing what that converts to as gallons. So I'm going to go down here and click gallons. You could select cubic meters or pints or even milliliters if you wanted. I'm going to select gallons and that just puts in a multiplier here. That's already preset. And it looks like it's all set up how I want it. So I'm going to click OK. does its thing and if you go down here there is what the meter is read in cubic feet and this is what it converts to as gallons. Um, another cool new feature if you want to you can set it up to be read uh, or to visualize your data here in the dashboard. Um, the top one doesn't relate uh, to pulse counting as much as the bottom one so I'm going to select the value that I want to by clicking the edit button and then from the drop down I'm going to select pulse one converted because I want to know the gallons. And then I'm going to click save. And I need to find, well there is data here, but I'm going to find uh, the month that I want. Let's go April and March. So that pulls in by day the amount of water that I've used. And you can change that from days to hours or months uh, up here. And it shows the totals over here. All right, that's pretty much it for pulse counting. Uh, feel free to check out our YouTube and Vimeo channels for other tutorial videos. Also feel free to comment below or email us at info at ekmmetering.com if you have any questions or feedback. This is Adam, signing off. See you next time.